know this song, right? It's the 1990 CNC Music Factory song, Gonna Make You Sweat. It was a worldwide hit produced by Robert Clavelli's and David Cole, the C and C in CNC Music Factory. But shortly after this hugely successful music video was released, the world learned that things were not exactly as they appeared. I'm Dara Star Tucker, and this is The Breakdown. You see the woman singing? She's a model turned singer named Zelma Davis. And this right here is some Milli Vanilli shit. The song's real singer is named Martha Wash. Sing that part, that, so they'll know. <laughs> if you can hit that note. When Clavelli's and Cole got the idea for the song Gonna Make You Sweat, they knew they needed a powerful singer to deliver the hook. Rumor has it they wanted either Shaka Khan or a singer named Jocelyn Brown, whose vocal had already been illegally sampled in this song. But they eventually asked Martha Wash, who was a member of the Weather Girls, who had already had top 40 success with this hit. It's raining which incidentally was co-written by Paul Schaefer of The David Letterman Show. For Gonna Make You Sweat, Clavelli's and Cole got rapper Freedom Williams to do an Ice-T sound-alike rap verse, and they had themselves a hit. The problem was they didn't credit Martha with singing the lead vocal, and they didn't put her on the album cover either. And unbeknownst to her, they got model-turned-singer Zelma Davis to do the music video, because Martha supposedly didn't have the body type that would get them much airplay on MTV. Martha eventually sued Clavelli's and Cole and Sony Music Entertainment for fraud, deceptive packaging, and commercial appropriation. Sony felt they did nothing wrong, so they fought it. Three years later, in 1994, Sony was forced to request that MTV add a disclaimer to the music video that gave Martha Wash credit for the vocals and listed the Zelma Davis part as a visualization. The crazy thing was, this wasn't the first time that Martha had to sue to be given proper credit on an album when a thinner model was used in her place. Italian house music group Black Box put out a string of hugely successful hits, most notably a song called Everybody Everybody that featured Martha's voice. She was initially told that she would just be doing the demo vocal as a guide for the real singer, but when the song came out, she was surprised to hear her voice was still on that song, plus five other songs from the group's album. They were using a French fashion model named Catherine Canole on the cover of the album, as well as all the music videos, live performances, and TV shows that they did. Needless to say, it was super obvious that that wasn't her. RCA eventually settled this case out of court, and Martha Wash was given a cash settlement and a record deal. She's now a testament to what it takes to make it in the music business when you don't fit within conventional body standards. Kudos to her for dealing with this kind of ignorance. I don't mean to be rude, harsh, callous, and malign, and vilifying, but I'd rather look at them on stage. And helping to establish the legal precedent that vocalists be given mandatory credit for all albums and music videos on which they appear.